this is my far my favorite lens ever guys just look at this tiny beast hey yo what's going on guys it's your boy franco from welcome back to a brand new video today's video we're gonna be talking about my favorite lens ever guys it is nothing else more than the 21 millimeter 1.5 SLR magic cinema lens y'all can see this lens is super tiny it is a wide angle as y'all can see look at that beautiful optic right there beautiful crystal so we have over here it is a 72 millimeter filter lens size it is a 1.5 aperture meaning you can record with this lens in very very dark low light situations and you will have a nice and clean image the focus distance it is 0.5 as y'all can see right there um what can i say about this lens this lens is the do it all lens wide enough to cover pretty much every detail you want to have in an image but it is also not that wide that you're gonna have the fisheye effect on the lens so you're gonna have that white look but not the fisheye distorted image which makes perfect for cinema project or just for professional stuff the lens it's pretty heavy lightweight is about the same of the 35 millimeter 1.2 that i talk about let me give me a second i'm gonna pull it out right now here it is the 35 millimeter here it is and here is the 21 millimeters at slightly bigger lens in the front size the 35 millimeter it's 52 millimeter um, filter size and in the 21 millimeter it's 62 millimeters a little bit it's a little bit bigger obviously because we have that wide front end it's supposed to be a big lens so yeah i will say that this lens weights about the same as the other slr i'm not sure if all the slr cinema series weigh about the same but i can say that they're pretty almost the same exact weight um things that i love about this lens you are probably watching the image quality at this lens it's amazing i recorded this at 1600 iso at 1 1.5 all the way open uh, i was shooting at 60 shutter speed and recording at 4k 30 frame per second and you can see how clean the image looks it, it was pretty dark it was already like 6 30 p.m and the image looks super clear like i didn't even need a front lens filter because i also don't have one so I mean for this one so yeah things that i like about this lens like i was telling you before obviously the character like i said before slr cinema lenses has a specific look character that they have it kind of looks like all of them have this dreamy look it has like soft characteristic of the lens that it gives the image that dreamy look it also have this black around the edges vignetti i like that many people don't like that but i do it kind of like center the views of what you want to show in the image for me it's useful if you're recording something that it's more cinema based then maybe you have to go with other lenses i recommend dco those are very good a little bit expensive but they do the, the job very well done but in this lens just for 200 dollars that it cost it's a piece of a lens it is well built it, i don't know if it's metal it feels very heavy and it feels like it's pretty sturdy like the other lens but things that i don't like about the lens well like the other 35 millimeter the back mount it's plastic that's something that i will never like about lenses having plastic mount i don't know if that's useful for this type of heavy lenses because they look tiny but trust me they're not lightweight they are kind of heavy i will say like maybe half a pound other thing that i don't like about this lens is the focus distance for me it's just 0.5 it's okay but i will love to get closer like for example the 14 millimeter that i have right now on you can see how close I can put my hand and it will focus in the hand but in this lens I the, the focus distance is about right here if I put my hands closer to that it won't focus obviously this is a manual lens so you need to have a um, pull focus in order to have a precise focus 
if you're using a handheld or something like that so yeah another thing that i don't like about the lens it's obviously that it doesn't have the same filter mount as the other one i love about other cinema lens company that they do the lenses with the same filter size that it's very convenient i really wish that they'll all come in the same size but obviously different specs it will change different aperture it will also change and 21 millimeter 1.5 it just super crazy guys for me going back to the good things that i like about the lens i really love that it's 1.5 guys a wide lens with a big aperture just super good we can record with this lens in pure night it will perform outstanding and that you know the footage that you're seeing right now was like i said before it was pretty dark so you can see how pretty well this lens performed also i was recording that using only my hands i was literally like this so you know the focus was not precise and obviously I was not using also a external monitor so you know two things that I didn't use just so you can see how well this lens perform the advantage of having just 0.5 focus distance is, is good in certain areas because it means that you don't have to go very far in order to have the precise focus with the subject so that's a good thing about it bad thing like I said before you just cannot get close enough because it won't focus other than and that this lens it's super good for the price $200 guys this is crazy and let me show you the package real quick the package is the same as the 35 millimeters y'all can see right here it just uh, says 21 millimeters literally the same package it came the same way that it came that the 35 millimeter and you know not much difference they're, they're the same um cinematic line so yeah the package is very simple like i said before i did like it but in this one i didn't because this one was slightly bigger and you see y'all can see right here the box was pulling a little bit downwards and you know for safety issues that for me was a red flag fortunately the lens came in the one piece super good and very good quality nothing is broken so yeah it's a lot of magic if you're listening to this and at least invest in a little bit better package for the lens because you know ups and other companies just they just throw the package i really do like wide lenses because they just have that distorted image and it's for me it's very useful it's fun it's different and uh yeah just this is the 21 millimeter guys hopefully you enjoyed this video i'll be continuing uploading video for you but other than that guys thank you all so much for watching this video Hopefully you enjoy this content. And by the way, I am improving my my, my setup, boys and girls. Look look at look at this. Look at this real quick. We have right here a diffuser, and right in the back, I don't know if you can see the light right there. Let me pull this a little bit down. We have a custom-made diffuser for this nan light. So y'all can see right there. I put a a paper softbox from a um tiny softbox that i use for a speed light and this is the four shot 200 right there and i put the, this, this diffuser to so i can achieve a softer look because if you all can see right now it's pretty harsh it's only at 10 percent and you can see how strong this light are i really do recommend line light not sponsored by the way and this is not the video that i'm gonna be promoting you but really good lights so thank you for that other than that put it like that you have a soft view let me put the lens the camera once again in the right area so yeah guys that's pretty much it for this video also by the way i noticed that the algorithm just didn't like my last video so if you for some reason haven't watched that last video make sure you go to the link in the description or i'm gonna just put a pop-up somewhere so y'all can see in that video i show you how to achieve the best clean image in low light situation so if you found that useful for you make sure you click somewhere in the video so you can see that video and just perform very good cool quality low life video guys so that's everything for all thank you all so much for watching guys i love you all make sure you subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video